Are you having troubles going to sleep? Hey, it's Dr. Moran, and today I'm going to be giving you seven simple tips to get a great night's sleep without having to use drugs or melatonin. Sleep is probably one of the most important things we can do for our health and well-being. While we sleep, many important things happen that are vital to our health, and it's ironic because growing up, we want to stay up late, and we usually don't have any problems going to sleep. But as adults, we may want to sleep more, and sometimes we can't, even though we may be exhausted, and we want to go to sleep more than anything because we know the next day we're going to be dragging and we're going to need those four cups of coffee to function. Well, let's start here with number seven. And we'll start with a simple one, which is uh, uh, not to have any caffeine or stimulants after 2 p.m. and limit your intake to four cups of coffee per day. So researchers from the Sleep Disorders and Research Center at Henry Ford Hospital and Wayne State College of Medicine found that caffeine, even six hours before bedtime, can have a significant effect on sleep. What this means is you have to plan your last cup of coffee or your energy drink more than six hours before your bedtime. And this is a very easy step to do to eliminate one of the major causes of insomnia or not be able to go to go to sleep properly. And so that's number seven, no caffeine after 2 p.m. And we'll move up here to number six, which is to set the perfect environment, set the right environment. You know, sticking with eliminating the simple things that keep you up is making the right environment. The first thing we need is a dark room. And this means to make a room as dark as possible. And if you can't make it dark, use a sleep mask. You can use blackout curtains to help out with this. So the extra light uh, suppresses your natural melatonin production. Uh, melatonin is the hormone made by your body that puts you to sleep. Uh, the specific light that blocks melatonin is white light and, and blue light. A um, major source of this light is from our smartphones or tablets. You know, there's a free app that blocks this light. You can set up to start at sunset. And I use an app called Twilight. Uh, this is something you should do immediately if you haven't yet. Um, you should also set the temperature of your room between 67 and 70 degrees for a perfect sleep. And you can adjust your clothing and blankets until you're comfortable. So that's number six. Set the right environment. And we'll move on to number five here, which is white noise or just background noise. You know, uh, have you ever been woken up by a barking dog or an ambulance or someone in your family using the restroom and not be able to go to sleep after that? You know, I have it, and it's, it's the worst. White noise basically provides a low-level noise that drowns out external noise so you can sleep uninterrupted. A lot of people use a fan to make the noise. Um, you can also use an app to make the noise on your smartphone or your tablet. And if you don't like white noise, you can use many different kinds of noises. Uh, for instance, I use an app called Sleepy Time. It allows me to choose uh, noise such as a fan, the beach, you know, it even has cats purring, or uh, the strangest one on there was people snoring. Uh, I guess people must have requested that. Uh, and there's also some research that shows that infants and children sleep better with white noise, uh, which is great because that's an also a major source of sleep disturbance for most parents. So that is white noise, number five. And let's move on to number four, which is uh, forget your stress and anxiety. You know, does your mind keep uh, thinking about things that happened or things that keep you stressed out and you can't go to sleep? You know, what's the solution? Is playing a mindless game such as Tetris. Uh, research has shown that 10 minutes of Tetris can overwrite negative visualizations and stop insomnia. Basically what it does is it stops the repeating move in your head or whatever is stressing you out, or whatever you have to do, and replaces that with a move, movie of moving blocks and shapes. They also found this strategy to be useful in preventing PTSD from stressful events if the game was played uh, fairly soon after the event. So that's number four, which is uh, blocking out your stress. All right, let's move to number three, uh, which is to eat a high fat and high protein snack before bed. You know, uh, this will help you sleep better from and help you from feeling terrible the next morning. You know, have you ever woken up from a great night's uh, sleep and still felt tired or felt terrible? This is due to having low blood blood sugar. A simple fix for that is to have a light snack before breakfast that has a quality fat, quality protein, and preferably some vegetables. An example would be a celery sticks with almond butter, or the one that I like is my wife's amazing uh, tomato cucumber salad. Um, you should also avoid carbs such as breads, treats, juice, and candy before bed. Um, and also it's been found that drinking alcohol before bed affects the quality of your sleep. So that is number three healthy snack, and we're going to move on to number two, which is natural sleep aids. You know, if uh, the above advice isn't working, there are some natural sleep aids that help you sleep. 
And the great thing about them is they're not habit forming, meaning you'll still be able to sleep even if you run out or if you forget to do them. A great supplement to sleep is valerian root. I first took this when I was in chiropractic college and I was stressed out over a test and needed to get a good night's sleep. It works great. Uh, and best of all, it's affordable and available at most grocery and drug stores. There are also many different types of uh, bedtime and sleep teas that help you sleep. You know, most have natural ingredients that uh, help you sleep and they're very effective. Uh, something else I use is called an earth mat and it allows me to get a good night's sleep and to wake up more refreshed. And if you want to learn more about it, just Google earth mats. So that's number two, natural sleep aids. And we'll move on to number one here, which is to get comfortable. You know, uh, first thing to do to get comfortable is have a good mattress. But if you have a worn out mattress, uh, it can keep you up and cause pain. And if you already have a, a good mattress and are still being kept up by pain, the problem may be your back or your neck. Many people have trouble sleeping due to pain in their backs, necks, hips, and shoulders. You know, and when your backs are alignment, your body is very stressed out and it's hard to relax. One of the most common comments I get from patients when they start care is how much better they're sleeping. And if you want to see if chiropractic can help you, you can give us a call, we'll schedule a free consultation, and uh, we'll do an exam, maybe do some x-rays, we'll see if your back is causing your sleeplessness. Anyways, uh, Dr. Moran here with Kinetic Chiropractic with 7 Tips on How to Sleep.